Welcome back to another segment of 120 Seconds. As always, I'm Stock. Well, we're going to start this one with some different promo, not because he's paying me, but because he's my friend. ReclayConnor.com is where you can find more info about uh, a book called St. Merle. It's a stoner comedy, as well as this brand new. I just got it in the mail yesterday. It's had not even opened. I haven't even checked it out yet. It's called Cluster. It's a sci-fi fiction-y uh, story. And his first book was called underground a novella hip-hop juggalos and the journey so clay connor also went by big slack he played several gatherings he was part of the riffraff crew not riffraff the rapper they flew it off stage but riffraff the the crew of guys it was shy one bloodshot uh, mcnasty gruesome there was a bunch of guys in that crew and they're great uh shout out to levey shout out to everybody at riffraff and uh shout out to big slack aka clay connor uh much love bro everybody check out reclayconnor.com to find out more info I kind of am segueing Big Slack because uh, into this next group because I initially met Big Slack through mostly Horrorcore.com, and that's also how I met these guys. So the review I'm doing today is Bastards of the Universe by the Biokillers. So a little bit of background about Saint and Klepp is that, uh, again, they were just kind of, you know, these guys that were running around Horrorcore.com. Uh, Saint Cinna, very much uh, integral part of the mission infect movement with loki and the rest of those guys mad max gruesome everybody else um uh clep not as much but you know they did the group thing they made i don't know maybe two or three albums and a couple of those early albums there was a song called bang or bang bang i remember really liking that one but i was never that big of a fan uh they put out a uh, uh, one called seven years uh with with you know i think iie and i think it was iie with rick rick and shout out to force five records rick anyway uh, we're all intertwined with each other, and that's, I guess, my point. I've known these guys for a long time, but truth be told, I was never that big into them. Now, when Saint was doing his stuff with Mission Infect and when he was doing the side project with Gruesome, uh, he kept growing like as an MC, and I, I really dig a lot of that stuff for sure. Uh, he, he's got some other solo stuff that's really, really good. The stuff with Gruesome is really good. This is stuff with Mission Infect is really good. But Klepp kind of wasn't really still active and doing a whole lot of music at least not to my knowledge and you can tell me if i'm wrong but you know i think klep mostly had a hiatus for sure biokillers was on a hiatus so when they first came back a couple of years ago with an album called bastards of rap it was still really solid saint with an improved but still not great klepto you know um it was mediocre hooks for the most part but it, it was better for sure than than the old stuff and this new one, again, Bash of the Universe, is mostly good. So Klepp is bringing it much better. He's certainly the best he's, that I've ever heard him. I, I congratulate him on his progression for sure. Um, the hooks on Top Shelf and No Cure aren't great. And it's really too bad for No Cure because I like that song. And then that hook is just, just not good for me. Uh, and I'm not a big fan of this like metal-infused track that's called Descent. But the rest of it is very good so i started with the negatives first because really there's a lot of positive things to say about this album uh there's an opener bastards of the universe which is good fast in the belfry is a good one uh uh better all the time and simple as that those are definitely the highlights for me um uh, with that last one it's kind of this uh back and forth old school mc thing with no hook it, it's pretty cool lastly the closer is called i'm gone and it is for sure the best track on the album. It is absolute perfect work on the hook because they're both contributing something completely different at the same time. And it's a cool sound. So my hat's off to Klepto for his uh, like serious progression as an MC. My hat's off to both of them for, for coming with what I consider for sure their best album, uh, cohesively and sound-wise. And... Uh, you know, Saint, you know, I've been your fan for a long time. So Saint Cinna has been dope for, for a long time and Klepp has kind of caught up with them now. And uh, this is definitely their best work. It's called Bastards of the Universe. It's by the Biokillers. Check it out. As always, click the links below. Tell me I'm right. Tell me I'm wrong. And until next time. Thanks. Marine Stunt did that.